Hello everyone. So we got the next two areas of dark visions, so we're going to take a look at those. Before we jump in though, we're going to do some pulls. Figured to put it at the beginning of this video, just because there's not a lot of it. Alright, so we got a couple of tickets. So don't think we can get Neo Visions out of this, but a couple of rainbows would be nice. So we get the one guaranteed. And just the one guaranteed. However, I think that is her super. Decent staff on that one. Alright, can we get more than the guarantee? Yep. Alright, that's not bad. I mean, I have way too many of Bar, but the others aren't max for Neo Visions. Alright, so we get two of these premium tickets. Two rainbows there. I think I still need a... Yeah, I might need one more poppy for her super. Ever at 7 star. And then Rem, we got hers not that long ago, so I believe that's just one extra. Hmm, more. Yeah, Prish, and not super useful. Those don't finish any supers, and I already have at least one copy. Alright, so let's see what these give us. Actually, I have a chance of Neovision. Let's see if we can get one. Nothing out of three star ones. Alright. Check out the four star. Starting out, Rainbow is nice. have one of his supers, the second one wouldn't be bad, and the other one, not maxed for Neo Visions yet, so, not terrible on that. Ooh, Neo Vision, who do we get? Onion Knight, um... I think I already have mine at EX2. And Leviathan card. So, I, he's not EX3, but I think I still need like three more to EX3. Alright, so five star tickets. We have a lot of her, so... It'd be nice for her to get an NVA. I'll take that. Obviously, that's the first one. New units, always nice.
Yeah, we just got their super, so that's like, what, one till it's a second? His super's not bad with killers. Alright, so we're out of those tickets. We get our free. See if we can at least get Rainbow out of this. Hmm, you want to keep doing that? Just two more times? Alright, nothing too great there. Yeah. Can use our three dark vision tickets, why not? And nothing. Yeah. Yeah, nothing good out of this. I mean, trust Moogles is fine enough. Alright, we do have enough for a random Neo Vision. So, who do we get? Hopefully, somebody useful would be nice. Charlotte, nice. That's actually our first one. And I did want her, so that works out. Let's get that locked. So that was actually a really good one there. Yeah. Alright, so that's going to end the polls. So let's jump into the Dark Visions. Alright, so. Magic, Ice, and Light. Jump into that first. Alright, so we're going with the Magic Light team, and we're kind of just going to try to kill it on turn one. So, we have Zahn here, he is dual wielding, the rest of the gear shouldn't really matter, he's going to AR chain. Victor, dual wield for an AR chain. Elena, she's just going to single cast an AR chain. Terra is here to fill Esper Gage and summon Carbuncle. Sylvie is here for some buffs, so her gear doesn't matter either. And then we have Aerith, who is hopefully going to do all the damage for us. So we geared her for some spirit and some killers. Gave her a little extra chain mod. So we got 125 aquatic killer for her. And not using the shift form there. Alright, let's uh, jump in and see if this works. Alright, so that is a 15% boost. Let's do our Defense and Spirit. And then I guess we need to attack. We can buff uh, Elena, and that way we get our breaks in there, we get our buffs in there. Alright, Terra. Summon Carbuncle. Zahn is dual wielding, so we're just going to pick AR. Victor is dual wielding. AR and Elena. Okay, so we are going to Holy. We are going to target ourselves. And hope all this works out.
Yeah. I think that's a bit of overkill. So, yeah. Yeah, most of that was definitely Aerith. Doing a lot of damage. Alright, so there we go. Perfect on that first fight. Alright, so for the second magic fight, we're going to do pretty much the same thing. So let's jump in again. Alright, so we can pretty much just repeat. Sylvie can go first. Terra can summon Carbuncle. Target ourselves and hit holy. Not as much overkill, but definitely still overkill. So yeah, Aerith handled the damage no problem. The others didn't really matter. Just had to build that chain. There we go. Another perfect score. So magic, late, full perfect on the first runs. Okay, so next theory is physical fire or dark. We are doing a physical fire team. So we have Zahn. Ice and Light Resist. Passive Draw Attacks, Full Evasion. AI Katie, Ice Light Resist, Full Evasion. Ling, so Dragon's Brush and Call of the Wild in base form. And then Shift, we gave her some Attack and Killer. 300 Reaper for her. Ferris. Base form doesn't really matter too much. We're just starting there for the uh, Espa Orb. And then shift. Attacking killers. 300 Reaper for her. Ignacio. Pretty much just give him his super in base. And then his shift is what we're going to use to actually deal damage. So, shift form, 300 Reaper. And Ignis, base form again, doesn't really matter. And his shift is some attacking killers. So, he's got 280 Reaper. It should be fine. Alright, let's jump in. Alright, so, Katie first. So, we're going to system update. We are going to magic cover and we are going to do our breaks. Ignacio, we're going to fill gauge for everybody. Ignis, we're going to also fill gauge. And then, I guess we can 250 buff everything. All right, Ferris, let's shift. So I want to roar, boost fire, and then We can just Magnus, just because I don't want to deal damage and kill it. Ling will shift. 
So we need to fire and view everybody. We need to do our killer. And we need chain moves. And Zon. We can steal the 300%, I guess. So we'll critical on Ferris for the 300 attack. And give that to everybody. So nobody counter and kill this thing. Alright. So chains. See, we're bolting with Zahn and Katie. Ferris is going to mirror chain. Ignacio is going to shift. And mirror chain. Ling is going to SR chain. And Ignis is going to shift. And SR chain. So everybody's chaining, so hopefully we get our 100 chain. All right, there it is, and looks like a lot of damage. Yeah, that's quite a bit of overkill. Wow, Ling actually carried that one. I was expecting Ferris to do a little bit more with her bigger uh, fire boost. But Ling in first, I'll take it. And there we go, perfect score in that fight. Okay, so for the second fight in the physical fire area, same team, same thing, so let's just jump in. Alright, don't have to scan, that works out. So Katie is going to do her thing again. So let's system update. Magic cover and break. Ignacio is just going to fill some LB gauge. Ignis. Fill gauge again. Yeah, whatever. 250 buff. Ling. Let's get our in view and everything. So, fire in view the team. Reaper kill to the team. And unlock chain moves. And Ferris, we're going to shift. So we're going to Roar, Fire Crystal, and Pirates, just so I don't kill it by accident. And Zahn's going to take that 300 killer, uh, 300 attack buff. So critical on Ferris, and Project. Okay, this thing has a lot more health, apparently. Alright, Zahn. Going to Bolting. Katie. Bolting. Ling is going to SR. Ferris. We're going to Mira. Ignacio will shift. And mirror chain. And Ignis will shift and SR chain. Alright, let's see if we can do it again. Now 
Not as much overkill, but that should be another perfect. Yep, Ling's still in the lead, although not that much above Ferris at that point. Ignis close to Ignacio, too. And there we go. First run through. Perfect. So that gives us both areas 3 and 4. Perfect scores on the first run. So we're back and tied for first place until we get the final area. Okay, so we've gone through everything that's unlocked so far. We did our extra pulls. So we're going to end the video there. Hope everybody enjoyed.